Damn, son, where'd you find this? This song's called Three One Words. Stepped out one morning The ground to be his bed The sky his awning
out of me You're a shark and I'm swimming My still thumbs as I bleed And all your friends I'm sniffing Triangles are my favorite shape Three points with two lines Told, told that the bell is gold My love is very late Till morning comes mm -hmm. Let's desolate Jay, live on the afternoon show, Tessellate there from their Mercury Prize winning debut album, An Awesome Wave, and three worn words from the upcoming album, Relaxer, comes out on June 2nd. And uh, thank you for being here, first of all. Um, you came uh, in advance of the last album. Um, this is all yours, like a month or so before it was actually released. Doing it again this time. So we should make this a regular event. Let's do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's just been announced, the, uh, the North American tour, and it actually starts in Portland uh, in the fall, October 9th, yeah. and a uh, Seattle date uh, shortly after that on October 12th. So, um, again, thanks for being here. So, I've heard two songs. I absolutely love both of the songs. Both of them seem to have some sort of computer-related theme or binary reference running through them. Is that sort of a concept that you extend throughout the album? I think it was sort of a concept we chose to launch the album with, kind of like a secret code in a way. It's not particularly a theme of the album, but um, something we enjoy playing with, yeah. Yeah, and uh, did, did that just uh, sort of kind of evolve naturally? Like, like uh, these first two songs are absolutely fantastic. Were you thinking about that when you were writing them and sort of, do you, do you think like strategy and stuff when you want to release records i don't think when we're writing them no i think when we're writing them it's very much focusing on the song and seeing where the song wants to go and then when right. you finish the album it's kind of like how are we going to put this together and, and put this out you know it's a, it's a completely different conversation but equally fun in, sometimes yeah yeah very cool now there's a video game uh, as well on the website which uh, astute fans have noted is inspired by the 90s uh, playstation game lsd dream emulator tell mm. tell listeners about that Tom, you found the image uh, from the game on Twitter, didn't you? I did, yeah. It was a, uh, an account I follow. Um, he posts a lot of images quite regularly, and uh, I just came across it, and I think seeing it, I, I wanted to kind of use it for something. I just liked mm -hmm. the way it looked. I liked kind of the size of it, and um, so I showed it to um, Gus and Joe, and they both kind of um, 
agreed that it might make a good album cover. So we, we contacted the guy, a Japanese developer, and um, he's been very cooperative and he's, he's given us quite a lot of room um, to use it. So Very cool. And, and tell listeners about the video game itself. So, so you found the image, you, you dug the image, so you obviously weren't fans of the game prior to that. No, that's true. None of us had um, even heard of it, I don't think. No. Um, yeah. But we thought, you know, I think we had the idea of making this game for our album online based on that game, because our albums are always kind of a bit of a journey and kind of take place in a sort of kind of imaginary world. So it, yeah. it seems kind of fitting to sort of walk around the world of Relaxer, as it were. Yeah, that's very cool. Relaxer comes out on June 2nd. Now, I love the line in um, Three Worn Words where you say, I just want to love you in my own language. I think that's just an absolutely beautiful line and it just hangs in that song and makes you think. And um, from, from the beginning, from when I first heard uh, Fitz Pleasure, I, I was just kind of blown away at how I, I felt you had done the seemingly impossible, which is work within a kind of a rock format but have an absolutely distinctive sound. It's almost like you created your own language. Um, how hard was that, uh, you know, to, in, in the early days of Alt-J, when you were rehearsing and, and practicing, what kind of reference points did you have or were you trying to just create something absolutely new? Well, I think um, that was kind of a time where we were expanding as kind of people because we were at university, mm -hmm. um, you learn new things um, and you see the world in a different way. And I think at that same time, we were going through that kind of transformation as kind of people with minds. I think we also bumped into each other as friends and um, we kind of applied what we were learning at university, which was there are no rules because we were doing fine art and English literature and we applied those kind of that fundamental to jamming together. Um, so we didn't have reference points. I think we just were surprised that we had found or stumbled upon two, three friends or four friends at the time with, with great chemistry. So we didn't do much speaking. We just, just did a lot of playing. And I think that was a, a really kind of rich time for us, um, discovering that we had such a strong connection. Mm -hmm. So when, when I listen to the new album, I still hear that, um, Gus, as you say, that sort of evolution or that journey uh, where uh, it still absolutely sounds like something new. It's, it's, it sounds like all J, but it also doesn't sound like anything else, and it doesn't sound like the last album or the album before. Uh, so, so tell me how you work in the, in the studio and, and maybe worked on this album. I mean, I think we've always tried to stick to the formula we found when we were in Leeds, which was basically sitting in a room that feels like, you know, a bedroom or a, a sort of like home space or something to write in because we, we don't like writing with, you know, we don't use mics or, you know, we use minimal amps and just like play as, in as natural sort of a setup as possible to write. And it, it gets us back to that idea of sort of hanging out together. And so I think on this album, we found a, you know, a space in London where we could do that. And then by the time we went to the studio, we'd written these songs that we that just sort of encapsulate where we are now as people and how we're still enjoying time together. Mm -hmm. um, Ellie Roswell from Wolf Alice sings on Three Worn Words. Uh, tell me about what, what, what it was with her voice that you wanted to bring into the mix. Well, yeah, it was, it was kind of a really great thing, really. We were, in, we were recording in London and Ellie and Wolf Alice were in a studio in the same part of London, Shoreditch, around the corner, writing. So when we wanted to try some female vocals on three one words we pretty much gave ellie you know a call and we were like do you want to come around to the studio and try singing this bit we we knew that she had an incredible voice but i think none of us knew quite what she was going to bring to the song in terms of kind of fragility and just the beautiful way she sings it it's not she's singing in a different way i think to how she does in wolf alice and it's that's really really special yeah yeah, yeah it sounds really beautiful uh, gus unger hamilton joe newman tom green alt j live here on the afternoon show uh now my understanding is that in cold blood the other song that we've heard from the relaxer dates back even maybe to the first album it's true yeah yeah we, we worked on that song when we were living in leeds and still when we moved out of there we, we couldn't quite seem to finish it and it was you know it was one of the songs that just needed a certain breakthrough and it eventually came when we jammed it on this album you know we tried it for the last album and just couldn't quite get it you know get it to be right so we we, we didn't want to put it on an album in sort of like we knew it had great ideas in it but it had to feel perfect and i think we finally got there this time at what point did uh, the horn part come in because man that is just so bombastic and amazing 
Yeah, that was actually really early on, to be honest. That was yeah. always that was the thing, the thing was about that song was that there were certain hooks in it, like the horn trumpet bit, or like the the way that the guitar and the keyboard sort of play together, or the or the, the drums starting and stopping. There were loads of hooks that we knew made it too good to discard, but we that was what kept it alive for us, really, and you know made sort of made its place be justified. I think yeah. in, in in this session. It's all Jay live on the afternoon show now. Over the summer, you're going to be uh, doing a few dates in Russia. Have you have you played Russia before? Yeah, we've played Russia. We played, yeah, mm. played twice, I think. Yeah, it's cool. I just got back from there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I had a great experience in Saint Petersburg. Oh, we're wow. playing there for the first time this summer, Saint Petersburg, which we're really excited about. Yeah, mm. there's some great bands coming out of Russia right now. Really, oh, really. Uh, one band, Oligarch. Oh, if oh you, right. If you haven't heard yet, no. Very cool. They kind of take uh, Russian Orthodox hymns and uh, sort of kind of Russian traditional folk music and then add just kind of heavy industrial production and uh, kind of hip-hop beats on it. Just really cool. Nice. That sounds yeah. great. Nice. Um, okay, Alt-J live on the afternoon show here. It's KEXP. Do you mind playing some more songs? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. This song is called Warm Foothills. Dry dunes cater for jumping boys From the nape of her neck He made his descent They watch men hurl from rock to sea Like still known to butts and line the pinches in I heard the sheep say, now I'm the only one Broken sweethearts are asleep apart Oh, still fine, the outside spines move and sleep stars And go 
shoes She makes the sound The sound she makes To calm me down So thin. As I begin rubbing love this out, your state lessons on my skin. Sounds he makes. I'm tired now. song is our last song and it's called In Cold Blood. Zero one 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 zero zero one one crying zeros and I'm hearing one one one's come as some soul sign my back flip oh summer summer oh poor oh, summer kiss me Way the sun really wants it to be Whiskey soda bees, your G&T's empty Jeff's inflatables of sun to the bottom Oh, summer, summer, poor, poor, summer, kiss me Kelly, let's die Slaps the surface of the pool Oh, killer, killer, poor, poor, killer Kiss me Mister Cast me as killer told me so La, 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 la 
la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la Jay, live on the afternoon show in Cold Blood. That is such a hooky song. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it, it is. Thank just you. gets in your head. From Relaxer comes out on June 2nd. So cool to hear that and uh, dissolve me in warm foothills. Uh, well, all the songs in sort of a minimalistic setup here. Yeah, it's very similar to how we played when we started the band, really. Acoustic guitar and a simple keyboard and minimal drums, really. That was how we, how we wrote most yeah. of the first album. Minus the mics. Yeah, exactly. And uh, do you still have the Casio tone that you bought for a pound? I do, I do. Um, I absolutely do, yeah. I mean, I've used it on all the albums. Um, <laughs> don't bring it with me because it's very heavy and quite yeah. old. Yeah. But um, no, it's never not going anywhere. But you used it on the album. Like, yeah. you, you wrote that song on it, right? Yes, I did. Uh, well, I wrote my part yeah, on it, yeah. you know. Um, it's, uh, it's a fantastic keyboard. It's been on, like I said, all the albums. It's beautiful, fake wood, brown number. Yeah. Uh, weighs a ton. It's great. <laughs> A boat anchor. Mm. It is the afternoon show, Alt J uh, Live. The album comes out on June 2nd. North American tour starts in October in Portland on the 9th, here in Seattle on the 12th. And are you just jam packed all summer long? Is this you hitting the road for the next couple of years? I think so. I think yeah. we're, we'll, be, we'll be busy for a while, but it's, it's exciting to be on the road again. We're looking forward to it, aren't we? Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, okay. we do like the road. Cool. Well the, well, the two songs we've gotten so far are absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to hear the whole album. And uh, man, thanks for your generosity, for just playing, but all you've done for KXP, you've, you've played for us every time you've been around. You've done uh, donor events, you helped raise the funds to build this new studio, this new home. Well, we love, we love Seattle, we love public radio, so it's always a pleasure. Yeah, thank yeah. you for having us. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Thank you so much. And uh, again, can't wait for the album. Good luck as well. Right. Thank you. Alt J Live on the afternoon show here, KXP. Uh, big time thanks to, uh, to Joe, Gus, and Tom. Also to uh, Jim, Justin, Scott, and Matthew on uh, video and photos. Kevin Suggs doing the engineering. Matt on the board. Uh, Nancy and Sandra on the hospitality. And thanks to all the KEXP donors for making this possible. It's KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org. Damn, son, where'd you find this?